medicine that has the ability to heal your legs, and this is the only way to make your legs feel better. Okay, but will this medicine ever work though? Yes, of course it will. Okay, now what? Nothing happened. I can't wait for much longer, so, who's coming with- Baby, no, let her go this instant. You heard him. Let him go. At least I managed to kill Barbara. Yeah, I have to admit that this is stupid. What's that? Oh, um, uh, excuse me. I wasn't behaving the way how I used to be. I just visited Marceline at the hospital, and now I'm planning to confront my twin brother. I head to one of the recovery rooms where your twin brother is being treated, and when he finds out about you, you have to explain to him who really you are. Do you have any last words? I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're sorry? I have nothing to do with you, I swear. Hello Chelsea. I came to meet you. You look exactly like me. What? You knew we were twins. He was exactly disguising you. Like basically. Does this answer your question, Miss Cecilia? Michael, how are you? Oh, I'm doing all right. I am starting to recover after the gunshot wounds I have sustained. Well, yeah, but we just realized that Chelsea wasn't actually shot in the first place, although we mentioned that she was shot in the robbery. Listen, this is not true. I wasn't shot in the robbery because only Michael was shot, just to make it clear. I'm fine and I don't suffer from any wounds whatsoever. Then, who was shot? Like basically. Well I just spoke to the police where they said that my evil sister was shot by the police because they thought that someone was disguising her. Though I'm not sure who was in disguise. Could Rylan, or Dylan, or Dexter claimed responsibility for disguising you? Well I don't know, but only the police will know who was really in disguise. However, I can't say that nor Dylan, nor Rylan, or Dexter disguised me. Then if it wasn't them, then who was the one that disguised you? Does this answer your question, Mr. Crockett? I knew it. I freaking knew it. I knew it was you who disguised Chelsea the whole time. What? I was trying to keep my identity a secret, just to prevent people from thinking about who I am. Well, it may be another case of mistaken identity. Oh, come on, Michael. Don't you understand that this zombie actually disguised you? I mean, this is like the masked singer, but I and Dexter weren't wearing costumes of you and your girlfriend the whole time. Teehee. You devilish traitor. I'm gonna kill- Finn, don't. They're killing us! No, Brad. I'm killing them! No, Brad, let them me! No! No, 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 Finn! No, Brad. Easy. No! No! God! No! What is going on? Get off me! God! Hello, is the mayor up home? Well, no. He had to go to the hospital to visit Pixie. Speaking of which, I have just spoken to a doctor who said that Pixie is in critical condition right now and he also said that the hospital is trying to stabilize her condition. I knew she wasn't supposed to be shot. I even watched the live stream on Facebook and I was horrified when I saw it. I mean, what kind of criminal has to broadcast the live stream when here she shoots an innocent person despite having no conclusive proof of guilt? Well I have apparently spoken to the police where they claim that day that has secretly escaped from prison after he was charged with starting a robbery at a bar. This is ridiculous. Why would David escape from prison without knowledge? And what he did was despicable and unacceptable and he should better be sent back to jail. What did you say? Oh um, uh, um, what I meant to say was, I hope I can get to see you going back to- No that's an- David, no! I can't let you do this again. Listen. This child marked me up too many times, and he is gonna pay for it. David, please, let's just talk about this. 
You are the reason for shooting Pixie again and I am going to tell the police that you are going to get arrested again. Now you are really gonna get it. Drop the- Back off of me! Hey, back off! Oh my gosh! Help! Help! What do you want? Can't you see I am trying to sleep in here? You need to call the ambulance right now. Natasha has been shot. What? Where? At the house where Pixie and the mayor lives. Please call the ambulance or it's too late. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me. I'm calling the emergency services. No! 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 Ouch. Stop it. You're hurting me. I'm hurting you? Really? Is this all you got? I mean, why would you disguise yourself as Chelsea without our not- But it was just a joke, okay? It was not a joke, Rylan. You are trying to make people believe that Chelsea has a twin sister who has the same identity as her, and now you are trying to ruin her life. What? I had nothing to do with Chelsea, that's all. Leave it, Finn. Hey, 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 what is going on here? He started it. He was the reason that disguised himself as Chelsea, similarly to what Dexter did to Michael. But it was just a joke, I s- Don't you dare lie to me or I'm gonna- Alright, that is enough. You two better stop with this argument or you will be in trouble. Alright, you win. But I'll be back. Alright, so what do we have to know about the patient so far? Well, he apparently suffered a car accident where, according to some passers-by, he wanted to take Grace to a restaurant where he and Grace wanted to have a date, but she refused to go there and Henry was severely burned after the car caught on fire. Anything else? Well, he is currently in a critical condition, and he has also fallen into a coma where we tried to wake him up, but wouldn't respond. Currently, it is unknown when will he wake up from a coma. Good morning. How are you two doing? We are doing fine, Matilda. We had to rush the Mafia leader to the hospital after he was severely burned after a car accident. What about you? What have you been up to? Well, we have recently rushed a young rabbit to the Heart Center Hospital after she was shot by a criminal in which I can't remember what his name was but I only do know is that he used Facebook to broadcast a live stream on his account. In addition, Pixie is currently treated at the deputy CEO's office because there were no enough hospital beds in the hospital. This is stupid. I mean, why would a patient get treated at the deputy CEO's office instead of the recovery room? Listen, this is the only room where the patient gets to be treated, so get used to it. Alright, I get it. Have you asked anyone about how Donnie is doing? Not yet, but I did speak to Jason who said that Donnie's legs are still paralyzed but they are due to recover in a matter of days. What the? What the hell are you doing in my house? I mean, how did you manage to get here by just reporting? Explain Mrs. Shibbert. I only came here because of one reason. Reason? What reason? I mean, what did I do wrong? I do believe that you're the reason for killing Henry Baker in a car accident, and I'm gonna prosecute you for murder. Seriously? I mean, you can't prosecute me. And I can't ever since my mother was killed. I feel miserable because of everything. Me? Did you kill Henry? Look, I did not kill him, okay? It was an accident. Deny it? Like seriously? I absolutely deny it. I deny the fact that you are innocent of causing an accident and I'm gonna tell everyone that you are gonna jail. Paul and can't we at least just get this straight? The hospital said that Henry is in a coma and I have nothing to do with killing him. This is the chest I brought myself. It's empty and when I go to Henry's house, I will steal the money I shall need. And don't you dare prevent me from robbing his money. You know what, I guess you win. But next time you better be careful what you're doing. Yeah, one more thing. I will see you in court and I'm gonna teach everyone who's the boss. Thank God you're here. I mean, where have you been? Sorry Chelsea, I just had to help with Finn putting a ton of stuff at the waterfall in which I can't explain it yet. Yeah, but have you talked to a doctor about Marsline yet? Well, not yet, but I did speak to Finn and he said to me that Marsline is feeling much better and she can get to leave the hospital. That's great news. But what about Michael? Look, Michael is still in the hospital, but at least he is beginning to recover.
Oh, hello Mr. Mayor. What's wrong? Yeah, what's the matter? I can tell that you look worried. Listen, I think I need more time to pray. Pray for who? Who are you going to pray for? Don't you remember Bubblegum? I am praying for the hospital to release Pixie early because I can't lose her. This is stupid. I mean, the hospital can't release Pixie from the hospital early. She has to stay there until she is fully recovered. Exactly. But what happened to Pixie again? Did she got involved in a crime again? Yes, of course. In fact, she was even shot by David, and he even broadcasted a live stream on his Facebook account. What? I mean, why would David do something like this? He should be ashamed of himself for what he did, and if he does something like this again, we're doomed. Guys, what is going on in here? I heard that you are all talking about a poor bunny who was shot. We were just talking about David because he shot Pixie again. This time he kidnapped her despite having proof that Pixie is innocent. I swear, if David tries to harm my daughter again, I'll kill- Humberto, no. If David overhears what you are trying to do to him, we are in huge trouble. Huh? What's with that hat for? The hat? Oh yeah, I have to put it on my head, because I don't want to be burned by the Sunday. That's the only method to prevent me from being caught on fire, or I could simply use a potion which has the ability to protect me from the Sunday. Protect you from the sun? Seriously? Do you have a fear of Sundays? I didn't mean it like that. What I meant was, sun, not sun. <laughs> okay, let's just move on. How are things going? Just fine as ever. What about you, Rylan? Well, I had to disguise myself as Chelsea just to prevent people from thinking who I was. However, I've been lashed out because Finn knew that I was disguising as Chelsea. Speaking of which, I think you should consider plotting a retaliation plan against Finn because of what he did to you. If Finn isn't there at the waterfall when he is working, you have to place a poisonous drink inside the chest and then try to poison him. Here, I have the drink, for you so you can try to trick Finn. Nice. Now I'm going to the waterfall and then try to make my goal accomplished. Brilliant. Now go to it. Hello, what can I get for you? Hello, can I have a drink please? Sure. Gee, this drink looks suspicious. It's colored green and I'm not sure why it looks like that. Um, aren't you going to give me the drink or what? Oh sure, yes I'll give it to you. <coughs> My god, are you alright? <coughs> No, of course I'm not. That drink tasted so horrible. Oh god, I don't feel too well. Oh my gosh. Hello? Can you hear me? Please say something. <coughs> Please help me. I think I am about to die. Hello? I need an ambulance please. There is a woman who just got poisoned and she collapsed. Wait, she's dead. She won't open her eyes and she has no pulse. Okay thank you, bye. Oh god what have I done? God help me, god help me. Stop. Oh my gosh, what is going on? No time to explain, young boy. We only came here for Pixie. What are you talking about? Pixie isn't even here because she is in the hospital. Interesting. Because don't you know how much we're angry about Pixie's survival? Oh my god, what do you have to be so jealous of Pixie surviving getting shot? You two have no idea that you are one of David's criminal partners and you are trying to harm me as well. Exactly. And we want to know where David is. Where is he? Look, I don't know where he is, so I can't tell you. Tell me! 
Where is David? But he ran away just so he could prevent himself from being arrested. I mean, who are you looking for anyway? The mayor himself? Totally. And you better tell us where the mayor is if you're gonna get it. Look, I do believe that Humberto is angry about Pixie always putting her life in danger over and over again, and he's even praying her to be discharged from the hospital. If David does something like this again, he will go back. Listen to us very carefully. No matter where the mayor is, you must tell us where he is now. And you know what? You have to make at least one choice. Just one. Whether you tell us where the mayor is, or we'll blow your head off just so we could brutally kill Pixie, and even assassinate the mayor too. It's your decision.